Previously on Workshop Wednesday. Adelaide put out the call and we have Gordon McDonald from WorkSafe New Zealand. Now kids climb trees. Jeez Louise, it's going crazy. How would I afford to pay a five hundred thousand Do you want a job at WorkSafe? This thing called health and safety is best done with workers, Hi. not to workers. Oh, I was just saying I'd like a job at work. <laughs> oh, okay. Excellent. So Come hey well we're here and we're on the World World Tour with Gordon and we're here at Toyota New Zealand just to find out, you know, what this safety stuff means to them. So I'm sure Gordon's got a few questions. And I'm not sure we've got a few answers as well. Gordon. Okay, so, um, but why do you do health and safety and what's important to you out of it? The Toyota culture is, is uh, there's two key themes to it respect for people is one and continuous improvement. So, obviously, respect for people goes straight to caring for people, and safety is just a part of that. It's part of what we've always done. Yeah, no, it's, it's just an important part of making sure that um, you know, people can't come here and, and go home. So, what's the hard nosed business benefit that you get from? Looking after people, complying with this stuff. From, from, from our point of view, it, it would be—it's pretty uncool to hurt or kill people on the job. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, we've embraced the new legislation. We think that it's good. It's been an opportunity to refocus for us. We like empowering our people. I mean, the Toyota production system says that the people are responsible for the process, mm -hmm. and if you think that safety is part of that process. Yeah then we've been able to engage our staff quite well and, yeah. and, and you know they've been great. They've yeah. really latched onto this and yeah. and you know picked up the ball and run with it and we're delighted with the response. Yeah. You know, the, um, you know they're right into this stuff. It's yeah. been uh, it's been good for them. So worker engagement a threat or an opportunity? An opportunity. Yeah. They love it. Yeah, yeah. They, and they have come up with some uh, fantastic improvements. It's a yeah. matter of being alert and, and, and aware of that, and, and uh, yeah. you know, make, making continuous change. Yeah. Well, we're going to take a little tour for you guys and show you some of these things that have been happening. Um, as Mark mentioned, there from the ground up, some initiatives that the guys on the floor have said, "Hey, we reckon that's a bit risky. Let's actually make it safer." So, come with us. Okay guys, so we've managed to make it to the warehouse, everyone's still alive and um, hopefully by the end of this trip, Gordon, we haven't knocked you off. And um, we've got Jeff and Dave, we're going to take us through and point out some of these things that might be a bit risky. So what I'm going to do, Gordon, is I'm going to hand over to you and you can ask some questions as we yeah. go around and these guys will explain some stuff too. Here we go. So, what's the approach to health and safety in, in Toyota and how have you gone about integrating health and safety into what you do around here? I think the key thing out here, because it's obviously a highest risk zone, is, uh, is to make sure that the team are involved and engaged. Yeah. So we've had hazard hunts, for example. Oh, tell me about those. How do those work? So they're great. So they, they're a bit of fun, so where the team will go around, you know, split into groups, and they actually go to various parts of the warehouse, and you yeah. get points for sort of, you know, the bigger the hazard and, yeah. the, and the worse the result, the higher points you get. So yeah. kind of nice bit of fun, a bit of competition. Yeah. And uh, yeah, some of the things that pulled out, I mean, it, it, it was yeah, quite quite amazing, actually. And uh, but. We use it as a base and we'll sit down every couple of weeks and, and, and go through and just we've, we've now got about 150 things that we've either actioned or, or work in progress. So, so can, you, can you show us any of the things that yeah. have changed yeah. as a result yeah. of yeah. that? Here's a simple thing, this yellow separate, it's yeah. a forklift drives on this side dropping these boxes yeah. off. Yeah. So people used to die, walk through between the, uh, yeah, the yeah, pallets yeah. while sometimes there was a forklift operating at the other end. So it just a yeah. real separator, yeah. So there's not a problem anymore. Right. Okay. Great. And you were saying that people used to walk down this uh, yeah. this walkway and, and what the vehicles crossing that. That's, that's right. Way. Yeah. There's vehicles going through there. Yeah. And uh, so basically, we've said we've blocked. You can see here we've yeah. you know, no longer a walkway there. Um, we're still work in progress in terms of painting that out. But uh, yeah. there's barriers here as well, which are which are all new. So yeah. we're just trying to minimise traffic in there. So you're not just telling people how to behave differently, you're actually facilitating that by changing the workflow and the design of the plane. So I understand some changes have been made to these vehicles. Mm. What have you done to make them safer? Um, previously, there was, we had the uh, step arrangement on, but we yeah. didn't have this bullhorn arrangement oh, yeah. on the top. Mm -hmm. So so previous getting up was a matter of hang, hanging onto the handlebars uh, and walking the steps. But yeah. once you're on the top step, yeah, there was not a lot, not a lot to hang on sure. to. Yeah, um, pulling a part down a box. Yeah, but that was identified in one of the, the first hazard hunts. That yeah. the guys thought it was a little bit unsafe getting up as high as that without anything to hang on to. Yeah. So straight away we made a prototype model, and we've made a couple of modifications to it since, and uh, the guys, 100% um, happy in right. using them. Great, and that was an idea from one of the workers from the, the, yeah. the Hazard Hunt. Yep. Good stuff. Right, 
So where are we now? So this, goes on here. this is our uh, loading and receiving bay, and yep. so basically all the inwards goods are coming in here, and then uh, all the outwards goods are going out from the same place. So you can just see that uh, angled wall. Yep. We used to have uh, right right across here was a wall and just a sort of a doorway at the end there. Yeah. Um, so you've got these guys with uh, forklifts taking quite heavy stuff in the area yeah. late in the day, this, this type of thing here. Uh -huh. and, uh, and so it was qu quite a risk in terms of vehicles going through there. So we've taken, took the wall out and it's increased the visibility and the, sure. the efficiency of the wall quite, quite significantly. Sure. So, so exactly. safety by design is important as yeah, well. Yeah, 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 absolutely, yeah. You know, um, we've done two hazard hunts. The last one, you don't have to force the guys to do a hazard hunt. Yeah. It's, it's quite enjoyable just yeah. going and looking over the whole area. Some yeah. areas you don't look at very often in the course of a day. Yeah. Um, so the last hazard hunt, we came up with 32 right. um, hazards, varying yeah. degrees. Yeah. And it's just uh, the guys buy into it because yeah. they know something will be done if, yeah. with those hazards. You know, we haven't kind of finished. We're always... No. Every day, every week, we're finding yeah. something that could be improved. Sure, right. Yeah, that's great. Okay, so we've actually seen a bit of risky stuff out there that's now being managed. You've yeah. seen, Gordon, a couple of things gone. We've got um, a whole lot of separation there that Jeff, you've talked about, right? Yep, and um, this doesn't seem again like rocket science stuff, but sometimes it's, we need to turn our mind to it, right? Yeah, yeah. I think for me it's about thinking first and then acting second. Too often we see those things done in the reverse way. And if you do that, then sometimes the answers are not deeply technical or deeply complex. They are relatively straightforward and relatively simple. Mm -hmm. So i um, really impressed with the way that that's been approached and the way that the workers have been engaged in that process so that their views on what it's like for us on a daily basis are tapped into because they're often the ones at the sharp end who know what's really happening. That's right and I think what I really love about is just about all of these suggestions like you say they've been engaged and they've come from the ground up and they've done as much as they can by themselves because they're the ones exposed to that risk right and we have needed that help for example like you talked about the BTs before putting the rails on you know we talked to the equipment manufacturers and got their help yeah. You know, help us fix this thing, but so much of it you can do yourself. So again, you know, the business is still going, we're still sending stock out the door and keeping New Zealand's vehicles running, you know, the best ones out there obviously. You know? exactly. <laughs>